I actually wear headphones because it's so loud. <laughs> Hello, America. Are you ready to play Beat the Receipt? The only show where a chef and a foodie have $20 and one hour to cook a meal for two with the same main ingredient. It's actually okay. And to make things more interesting, they both get one budget breaker, where they creatively find one ingredient, as long as it's for free. I need a favor from you. Let's welcome Chef Tom Kunanen. Hey guys, it's Tom Kunanen back here again for Beat the Receipts. I'm excited for the next ingredients. And our foodie challenger, Beth schatz Kaler. Hi, I'm Beth schatz Kaler. I live and cook in North Dakota, and I blog about all things local food on Instagram as rhubarb and venison. And what will they be cooking today? Right. Let's spin the meal, the meal wheel. wheel. Okay, what do we have today? Oh, chicken. 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 Yes. I love chicken. I never make chicken. The first thing that came to mind was chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie is like one of my favorite things growing up. We eat so much game and chicken is not... Okay, but we can find chickens. This time, I'm gonna definitely use the budget breaker because chicken pot pie consists of a lot of ingredients. I'm almost going through my like pheasant recipes to think about how I want to make a chicken. I got a bunch of friends who live in Northeast or that are chefs. I'll give them a heads up, let them know if they have any puff pastry, but we'll figure it out. I'm gonna call Lori. She is a farmer. Alright, we'll call him Brad. What's up? Hey dude, what's up man? Do you have any puff pastry? Do you have any chickens that I could buy from you? I don't know, I don't have at all, no. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> All right, I'm gonna call my friend Rick Cook. See if he has any puff pastry. Is that a trick question? In my pocket? <laughs> no. Anywhere about my pocket? No. How yeah. much for a two, two and a half pounder, three pounder? We'll do six from the chicken. So now I'm gonna call my friend Angel Marker, who's a chef at Beacon Saloon. Do you happen to have any puff pastry? No. <laughs> 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 Should I have any veggies ready or do you not know what you eat? I'm I don't know yet. I don't even know what I'm making. What are you making? Chicken pot pie. I mean I could give you chicken pies. Okay, let's go to the farm. There's lots of great vegetables here right now. Some sort of like rice bowl. I just need to pick the flavorings and the seasonings and stuff. When in doubt, Mexican food. Obviously. Obviously. We're here. At the grocery store. Hopefully they have all the stuff here for a low, low price. Do you have butternut? No, just buttercup, buttercup, and delicata. And delicata. Will it stay firm, like after I roast it, do you think? Yes, these awesome. do. Okay, yeah. let's do that. We got this also for $2.99. Merpois, the trifecta when you want to make a sauce. Okay, yeah, that one's great. The jalapenos are down. We can go down this aisle here. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one, is okay. that okay? Sure, whichever one you want. And how do I pick? Just you just pull it straight, pull it straight off. Okay. Uh, I'm getting a little worried since we can't find puff. Oh, right here! <laughs> Found it! I knew this, that puff pastry was gonna be a little pricey. So we have a chicken. Yeah. And we have an onion, jalapeno garlic, and a squash. If you have 10 bucks when you're done, yep. that's great. I'm a little disappointed. She did. She has tomatoes, but she has to save them for some restaurants. And I'm thinking it's gonna be like a rice bowl right now, like a Mexican themed rice bowl with lots of yummy veggies. I got a feeling that this is probably better than this brand. So, three ninety nine, pot pie crust. We're here at our local food co-op, and I am hoping to get some bulk spices, bulk rice. There is a ugly food bin here that I'm hoping, like some bruised and you know overripe things, that I can grab at a deep discount. Well, we got garlic salt here, and it's one ninety nine, two forty nine. Free range chicken, organic stock. Three limes for a dollar. Do I want green pepper? I could so I could do that with some onion, but no tomatoes. Organic avocados for a dollar fifty. We might need to run to another store for that. The tomatoes are four dollars a pound. I'm feeling a little unsure about that. So this is a dollar ninety-five, which is great because you know it's got 20, 21 seasonings. And salute to all the. These things are in here. Definitely want cumin. Empty. Chipotle chip, chili pepper. That might be good. We have some smoked paprika. There's taco seasoning. So I'm hoping this is just like 10 cents. 
I mean, an ounce is a dollar fifty, so this should just be a little tiny bit. I'm a big fan of shiitake mushrooms, so I think I'll I'll grab your shiitake. It's three twenty nine. I have organic cilantro. I did radishes on top. That'd be really pretty. Two ninety nine on salted butter. I'm just gonna get some brown rice. It's a little bit more expensive than I would usually. It's two fifty because it's organic. You know what? I don't think I can do it. We're gonna go to a regular supermarket and get some beans and rice. So we've got the garlic for only 49 cents, so I'm gonna just use one. We have a little bit of money left, so just for us on, uh, on the finer things in life. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, oh no. no. So no idea what it's gonna come to. I think it's gonna be like $5. Ooh, totally. 788. Oh no, what did I do? So I'm at 1788. I have $2.12 left. We're in the parking lot of a major national store to get the final ingredients. And I can't do that in $2.12. Alright, so we're at the end of my budget and we are in need of chicken, which is the most important item. So I'm gonna call Lori. So I happened to call my buddy Andrew this afternoon and he said, I mean I could give you chicken thighs. Can you tell me about the, uh, the chicken thighs? Okay. How about you donate the $3 squash to me? Yeah, sure. Thank you, dear. And then I have three extra dollars, so I owe you $7. This is Maya. Hey, how are She's you? She's handing me the chicken. Thank you so much. Yeah, no Thanks problem. for helping, guys. It means a lot. Andrew, if you're watching this, thanks a lot, man. I love you. I'm such a budget-conscious person. I'm also not used to not cooking from my pantry. This is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. So I have $5.12. We can do this on $5.12. One pound for $1.50. Yes. Yes. So I'm gonna get the brown. $1.29, perfect. 49 cents. Oh, I, go. I think we're good. So these are um, $1.29, and this looks like it's perfectly right. Completely, completely in budget. <laughs> How do I do this? I think we're ready to cut. The chicken that I borrowed was already brined with like garlic and some sort of seasoning. It was that 50 cents garlic. Didn't really need it. Cause it's already here. I'm just gonna make a quick rub to make sure that we get at least a little bit of, of seasoning going on here. I know that this is a pretty fatty chicken. I'm hoping it kind of just keeps its own juices and pressure cooking is gonna be awesome for that. What about shiitake mushrooms? I'll save the stems for our chicken stock. So it'll give it that added bonus flavor. Then I'll add my celery, carrots and onions. We're gonna put a frozen chicken in the Instant Pot and it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Oh, please fit, please fit, okay. A little bit of water in the bottom. I'm completely guessing here. I'm gonna do 45 minutes. Just kind of rub the butter around the pan. You're gonna be eating it off the pan anyway. I mean, that's what I would do. Make sure your dough is evenly distributed around the pan. The crust is it's like my favorite part about pot pie. I want to make a green rice, which I really love that gives it more flavor. I'm gonna use the cilantro stems. Here's our beautiful onion, the garlic that we got from Lori, as well as the mild jalapeno. Put that in there with that. I want some salt. We don't have any broth, so we're just gonna add some water. I'm just gonna poke it, so that way when we bake it, it'll easily release from the pan. And that's your bottom crust. <gasps> just dropped it. I know this is a nerdy thing, but um, I actually wear headphones when I put the blender on, because <laughs> it's so loud. For this lovely sauciness in here. So we're gonna bake this off. Ready, set, go. You sort of preheated this. I guess, I guess we go back downstairs. We'll just bake so it preheats. Gorgeous, I love that color. I don't have any oil, huh. I mean, it can kind of steam a little bit if I put a little water in there. This is part of the challenge, okay.
All right, so now we got our chicken. It's good to go. And we have a little bit of butter to start off with. So now we're gonna add in the chicken. No touch, no touch. So I'm gonna put in my beans now. And I've already seasoned the base. So we're gonna be relying on our beans to be a little bit of that saucy texture. Make it all for 10 minutes. I'm gonna save the greens on these radishes. Um, they taste radishy and I think they'll look pretty kind of tucked into the side of the bowl. We're gonna add some of the mirepoix, garlic salt. I'm gonna add the mushrooms next. You know, it's. I think it's. I think it's working with the no oil. Just using a little water. It's kind of steaming them, but it, they're softening up. Just gonna strain the liquid. The stems are inedible. You just want it for the flavor, for the stock. Push it down a bit, and we're gonna take the pie dough that we were using, and we're gonna add it little by little, so we can thicken the sauce. All right, I'm gonna use this blender for. Hallelujah! It works. This thing scares the crap out of me, man. Glossy. I'm gonna add some seasoning of that 21 season now. I'm all about that flavor, flavor. If my food budget had a had a motto, it's like spend as much as you can on the local stuff, and then try to get by as cheap as you can on the stuff you can't buy local. It's taking so long. 21 seasoning. I think that I think that should be like my new rap name. All right, that was good. So this is our bottom crust. <laughs> I'm really happy with that. Mm -hmm. And just throw everything inside. So we're gonna poke holes like this. I'm gonna make a star, how about that? Okay, it's our star. So this is already pot pie right here. Okay, put this up here. That looks good, and it smells amazing. I just pray that this turns out nice. So we put this chicken in. 100% frozen. It's like completely falling apart, which is a great sign. I'm so excited that that cooked fully. That's great. It's been about 15 minutes now, but the center is still too soft, so we'll throw it back in there. Really thrilled with all the love that's in this bowl from all the friends and people we know that help contribute to it as well. That makes it extra tasty to me. Ooh, all right. That looks mighty good to me. So the moment of truth, we're going to sample. This is our chicken pot pie. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. I put so many, so many things on top here. Oh hot. <laughs> oh hot. I'm super happy with this. Um, I love all the different textures. I love that there's a little kick to it. Wow, that's actually pretty good. It's super meaty with all the chicken. I'm glad I bought all those spices. The puff pastry is cooked inside out and uh, has a, a crunchy exterior to it. I could probably use like a little sour cream or some yogurt. The shiitakes are in there, perfectly seasoned vegetables. For under $20, everything included and under an hour, yeah, I think this is pretty good. I'm Beth Schatz Kaler and I made this local chicken and vegetable rice bowl for under $20. I'm Tom Kananen. This is my chicken pot pie under $20 on Beat the Receipt. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Let us know in the comments below which dish you'd make tonight or how you'd spend your $20. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time on Beat the Receipt.